Korean Superboy Duho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by first round knockout, something his opponent is acutely aware of coming in here tonight. Early connection with the left from the champ. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with beating. Big power shot there. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice inside kick. Oh, man, another nice leg kick is there. Choi shot is blocked. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, great block there. Just over three minutes to go. Just touching him with the jab. His opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? That is a damaging kick that lands. These guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Just over two minutes, round one. The Korean Superboy gets caught by the inside leg. No way, you hit him first. Throwing that jab, no good. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, good work with the jab there. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. Slip that one. Well, really playing to that length when he landed that punch. Nice shot there by the champ. Good shot. able to get that one blocked. Punch there in the clinch. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you gotta be careful. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Fast leg kick lands. 20 seconds left. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Final seconds here. Second round, straight ahead. Well, 
Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here moving forward. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, could get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now get back off the stool to start the next round. That's a great kick landed there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Yeah. Up to the headlands, flush there by Choi. And that, that's the danger in the engagement there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice job by him defensively there. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Beautiful punch lands. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Great job setting up that high kick. to land the overhand. Those are big strikes. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Quick jab. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Nice one-two there. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. So two minutes to go here in our second round. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Chor. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make it big. Right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Joy. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that fin. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Now under a minute to go in the second round. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. 
Right. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. Massive shot from the top. Coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. But you can get it if you wrestle for it. But now they start shooting. Ready to fight. Ready. Excuse me. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting him. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Back and forth we go. Great commitment to the kicking game. Defensively responsible, nice block. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body. strike upstairs and for his opponent that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swelling. He can't miss it and when you saw the swelling initially you knew 
that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Man, that cut is just nasty. So if you're the guy, oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up move. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. 45 seconds remain in the round. Left punch on target tonight. Final 30 seconds of this third round. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight. And I think at some point the referee is going to intervene here. DC. He hasn't been able to cheat. Oh! He's got to keep pressing here. Seconds winding down in round three. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. 